Ladies and gentlemen, hi. I'm going to spend a little bit of time here talking you through how to use Adobe Illustrator, just the very, very basics. You're going to need this for semester one and semester two, um, and uh, you'll need to pay attention um, so that um, you're not wasting your time and my time when we're sending things to the laser cutter, okay? So the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to download this Adobe Illustrator um, software, and you can do that by going to, hang on, let me go to here. If you were to go to your ISB student bookmarks, yeah, if you go to my apps, yeah, and then if you download, if you, you sign in, obviously, um, and then you sign in, and then you would go to Adobe Creative Cloud, yeah, and from Adobe Creative Cloud, you should be able to download um, uh, the Adobe Illustrator. So you just need Adobe Illustrator, yeah? So you could hit there um, and then you can choose your Adobe Illustrator and you can download that, okay? I'm not gonna bother wasting my time on that um, because I've already done it. Oops, what's the next preset I can do? Okay, but once I've got Adobe Illustrator, I can open it up, okay? Um, the first thing you're gonna need to do, and I've tried to make it as easy as I can um, for you, is I've tried to give you a, um, an Adobe Illustrator, I'm just going to select this. Um, you should have in classwork up the top, you should have an Adobe Illustrator drawing template, yeah? And I've called this the Epilogue Template AIT. If you click on that, it'll come up and it should look like this, no preview available download or open with. You won't be able to open it with. It doesn't give you Adobe Illustrator to um, open it with, so you need to download it first. So I'd normally download it like that. Once it's downloaded, um, then you should be able to open it up with Adobe Illustrator, okay? So you can see I've got it opened up there with Adobe Illustrator, okay? Um, for some reason, mine opens up quite strange, and I don't know how to... There you go. That's better. Um, so I'm going to make that fit there. Okay, great. Um, so now I've got it open. Um, you should be able to see along here, there's a toolbar here that says Properties, and there's a toolbar here that says Layers, yeah? You can see a layer that says raster, which is the etch. You can see a layer here that says line engrave, and there's a layer here that says cut, okay? Let's um, ignore the, um, the line engrave. I'm actually gonna take that line engrave and I'm gonna put it in the rubbish bin, yeah? So I've just got the raster, which is the etch, and the cut, which is the, which is the vector on the outside, okay? Just those two layers. Properties, it's in millimeters. If yours says that it's in points, please change it to millimeters. And if I click on that edit artboards, it shows that it's 297 by 210 millimeters, which you should you should know is um, an A4 size piece of paper. Okay, so if you imagine what an A4 size piece of paper is, that's the artwork that you're going to draw on. Okay, so the main things that you need to have are, so, um, are the layers and the properties tabs. Okay, um, there's a color swatches and things down here, which you may or may not have. Don't stress too much about that. And then along here, you've got the main menu. Okay, so this main menu, if you haven't got it, what you could do is you could click on, make sure that layers is turned on, all that sort of stuff. Um, what I can do is I can, no, I won't. Um, I know I can, um, I can have some. I can have some more, but I'm not going to. Okay. So I've got the um, selection tool. There's a direct se selection tool. There's a pen tool that you'll use. You probably won't use the curvature tool. You'll use the um, shapes tool, and I'll click on, on that a bit further. You'll use the text tool, and they're the main ones that you'll use. Yeah. There's not many more that you'll use. Okay. So if I'm trying to create myself a um, a little keychain, as you may have seen on um, at um in class the first thing i'll do is i'll look for a shape okay so if i click on this rectangle tool if i click and hold you can see there's a bunch of different options there okay um i'm going to make mine into a polygon okay and um at the moment um if i just do a single click it tells me i've got six sides i can choose to have eight sides if i want to and i can have the radius i'm just going to say 17 millimeters and i've got that there if I go like this and pull it larger and smaller, yeah, you can see that it changes its side. If I hit the shift button down, it'll change um, with respect to the, um, it, it will change in a locked fashion, do you know what I mean? So the X and the Y change at the same time, okay? If I wanted to make that exactly, um, say 50 millimeters in diameter, uh, in 50 millimeters in size, what I can do is I can go to properties here, and this is W, this is H height, width and height. If I click on this, so I maintain the same, 
if I make that, let's say 40 millimeters, and then hit enter, then you can see that 40 millimeters and 40 millimeters has changed at the same time because I've got that um, width and that height. Okay, you can see there's this funny looking thing in here. I'm just gonna zoom into this and see whether I can make that work. Can you see when I pull that in, it changes the radius, yeah? So I can change the radius to make it just a little bit, a little bit more rounded, yeah? Which I think would be nice if this is a keychain and it's sitting in my pocket so it's not so sharp, okay? So there you go. Um, if you wanted to try a different shape, you could change a different shape. There's a star tool here. Again, if I just click on the star tool, there's an inside radius and an outside radius and how many points. Yeah. So if I wanted to have, um, you know, um, 28 points and I want to have the inside radius and the outside radius, I'll just leave it like that. I end up with something like this. Yeah. I think, I think, oh no, I can't. I think what I could do is I could grab this individual select tool and then what it'll do, if I can, if I can change around, I can change that. Yeah. So that individual selection tool. Will, um, will actually select each of these paths, yeah, and change them for me, yeah? So I've got that there, let's say. Yeah, I don't know how, how safe that's gonna be in a pocket, but you know. Um, I'm gonna go back to the direct to the main selection tool and you can see that's 33 by 33. I don't know, I'll make it 30 millimeters. Okay, so I've got two different shapes here that I can, I can try, yeah? Okay, great. Um, the next thing I wanted to talk to you about, so I've talked about um, direct selection tool and the regular selection tool. Um, I've talked to you about uh, selecting a shape. I've talked to you about um, how you can round the edges by using the direct selection tool, okay? Um, I already talked about setting up the workspace, the toolbars and the layers and things. Um, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna import an image that's gonna go inside there so that I can, um, actually, you know what I'm gonna do first. I'm gonna click and hold and go ellipse tool. And I'm gonna draw a circle, I'm gonna unclick that because I want to make a, um, a hole for my key ring and I'm going to make it four millimeters, tab, four millimeters, enter, and I've got that there, yeah? So I want that, I'm actually going to put that, that's my hole for the, the key ring. If I put it too close, it's going to break out. If I pull it back about there, that's probably about two or three millimeters wide, okay? If I wanted to copy that, yeah, I can hit on, a, um, on, a, um, on an Apple computer. If I hit the option button and click, I can um, duplicate it, okay? So the option button allows me to, if I click and hold, I can duplicate it, okay? And I, I quite like the idea of just duplicating that. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go to layers and you can see that all the stuff that I drew, I drew on this cut layer, okay? Um, and you can see that um, some of them might be, can you see that path and that polygon is a different thickness to that one and that one? I don't know why. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to properties and I'm gonna get a stroke I'm gonna make sure that the stroke is 0.25 millimeters thick, okay? That way, the laser cutter will know to cut that, okay? So, um, so I put that all on that layer. Now I'm gonna get a raster. The raster is the, um, is, the, um, is the etching part, okay? And I'm gonna put a unicorn on this, yeah? I don't know why. Um, but I'm gonna to go to Google Chrome. Where's Google Chrome? I thought I had Google Chrome open. I'm gonna to go to Google Chrome. And I Google a unicorn silhouette because I love unicorns and as does everybody, yeah? I'm gonna click on, I don't know, I'm gonna click on images for unicorn silhouette. I'm gonna see what I can find. So I want a black and white one, one that's very easy to see, um, one that stands out. Oh, that's not bad. So I'm gonna click on that one there. I like the look of that. I'm gonna right hand mouse button on that. I'm gonna copy the image and I should be able to, command tab, go back to here. And I should be able to command V, paste it back. Can you see how big it is? It is massive, yeah? So you don't know what you're getting from the internet until you bring it in, okay? But you can see that that's pretty large, yeah? That, if I zoom in, you can see that it's all pixels of color, yeah? So this is just an image. What I actually wanna do with this is I want to go to properties and I want to, 